So the court has considered the application that has been brought by the sergeant and the lengthy submissions by both counsel for the prosecution, for the respondent and also the respondents, for the first respondent and also for respondents number 2 to 14. The court is aware that the first respondent had earlier been released on a cash bail pending investigations. The IO has on oath stated, and I have looked at that affidavit, that further reports that touch on the issues that are being investigated have been made to the police. And indeed, one of the suspects in court who the prosecution refers to as a victim, because he's among the ones that uh, Vivian, you've stated that is a victim, has, uh, has actually directly asked the court to release him so that he can go back to the place that uh, the prosecution referred to as the first respondent land in Shakahola to continue with his first. This uh, outrightly confirms that the activities are still taking place at the same uh, place. And unless the suspect, especially the first respondent, is held in custody, there is a likelihood of interference with the witnesses and a likelihood that uh, more unlawful activities may take place. The suspects have not been charged yet. Uh, the matter is still at the investigation stage. So the court finds compelling reasons to allow police to continue holding the suspects that are before the court for more days until they complete investigations. For that reason, the court shall order as follows. Suspect number one, Paul Ndenge Mackenzie, and a police bond that the court had earlier issued and directed uh, that uh, he be released pending the investigations is here by cancelled. Number two, suspects one to seven to remain in police custody for 14 days pending the completion of the investigations. 30 days is too much. So you, you, you take 14, complete your investigations. Suspects number eight to 14 to remain in police custody for only seven days for the same reason. We'll mention the matter on the 2nd of May, 2023. The negation of not eating your honor has not been proven before this court. Any people who are saying that they have died of starvation there is no medical report that is supporting that. Nothing is here demonstrating the cause of death. A post-mortem report should have been here to say this one has died of starvation. That evidence is not here. The court is expected to believe mere affirmance in an affidavit to death. You know, nothing has been demonstrated to show how he is connected with the starvation. Be as it may that there is no medical report to prove the cause of death was starvation. We are saying now that there is no evidence that has linked him as the cause or, or having stabbed. Reports or post-mortem reports, my lady, we have indicated that investigations are still at a very preliminary stage, my lady. If you give us time, you will be able to conduct the post, the exhumation, my lady, and you will be able to avail post-mortem reports to indicate the status, my lady. Okay. Mr. 
Komora is acting alongside Mr. George Kabili. President Your Honor. Yes, yes, Your Honor. The application has just been served upon us a few minutes ago. Mm -hmm. So we had an application to make. But Your Honor, we need an application. We are the first respondent so that we can converse the application with non information and knowledge. Can I first hear a very fast on this one? Number P zero forty. Respondent. So, yes, sir. Yes. We only have You don't have 40. Oh. Not been served. We have not been served. So mm. if we don't receive mm. it in opposition to mm. mm. maybe it's an application that can be opposed for now. Okay. <laughs> but the list that now the prosecution is speaking on behalf of some of those people now they are speaking on their behalf that no these people are dependent on the first we want them to be detained mere mere abundance wishful thoughts And in paragraph, they're saying that the first suspect has continued in his illegal activities. It was not demonstrated. 